We're here at uh, TFCon Toronto and the 80s Toy Expo. And uh, today we have here Mr. Simon Furman. I'm Deb Markley. And we have a few questions to ask for Simon. Uh, you write so many different stories. How do you keep all the plots organized? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at changing tracks. You know, sometimes I'm writing, you know, quite adult themed things. Sometimes it's for, you know, aimed at a very young audience. So, you know, I just have to kind of reset. I mean, the most difficult thing I find is, you know, literally when you're in midday and you have to sort of switch, you know, you finish one thing and then have to switch tracks and start another thing. But overall, I, you know, it doesn't, it, it's not a huge problem. You just have to kind of take a breath, reset yourself, you know, adapt your style and uh, and then go again so you know and if I find myself in the wrong mode you know it's just oh dear you know rewind and start again but you know I mean I never have you know too much problem just juggling the things oh awesome I, I know you write a, a lot of things multiple things at any one time um, okay some um, some fans love your work and refer to you as a god do you have any special powers I have the special power always to know the answer to any given question anybody gives me in an interview. <laughs> That's a good answer, Simon. Okay, I got another one for you. All right, uh, so see if I can challenge you this time. Uh, is there any character that you would have that you would have liked to have struck by lightning, and how would it change? How would yeah? How would it change him? Yeah, I mean, I think. There's always a kind of, you know, it would probably transform as it would be wheelie, you know. So sort of if anyone deserved to be struck by lightning, it was wheelie. But, you know, even with wheelie, I kind of enjoyed my little spotlight I did with Klaus Schawinski. So, you know, no, I mean, you know, I, I think there's always sort of some character, you, you know, you think, well, great, we'll have them struck by lightning. But, uh, no, I mean, overall, you know, so I, I don't think I've met a bad character yet. You know, it's just what you do with them. Uh, right, exactly. Uh, okay, um, I heard that uh, you will autograph anything. So, what is the most unusual thing that you have ever autographed? Uh, well, I mean, even this convention, you know, I autographed a few t shirts, an iPad, which was a first. You know, one girl was wandering around getting people to autograph the back of her iPad. So, you know, I signed an iPad. Uh, I, I suppose the most strange thing was one UK convention, somebody had bought a, you know, actual working life-size prowl for the convention, you know, all decked out in its police, uh, you know, colours, and they, he wanted the, uh, the bonnet uh, autograph, so all of us, you know, you know, using pretty much the most massive mark we could autograph the bonnet of this car, so, so that's probably the strangest thing. Okay, what, what is your, uh, your best fan experience? My best fan experience. I don't know. I suppose it's just any one of these conventions because you know, I, you know, it's a it's a sort of isolating business. You know, writing generally. You know, you sit at home with your computer. You, you know, you send out your stories, and yeah, you know, you see the feedback on the internet and everything. But this is kind of what I like most: just actually sort of meeting and greeting and talking to the fans and getting their feedback and, and so you know I, I suppose it's just any convention would be a good fan experience. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, I have one more uh, question for you. When you were a teenager what kind of music did you listen to and what do you like to listen to now? Well sadly my music tastes haven't moved on much from when I was a teenager but you know I was a teenager around the time you know sort of punk and new wave was hitting the UK so you know, that was my little rebellious phase, and, uh, and you know, I still love that music, and a lot of the music I like now, you know, has a sort of echo of that, you know, bands like the Kaiser Chiefs or um, uh, Franz Ferdinand, you know, have a little sort of vibe of that late 70s, early 80s punk new wave, uh, you know, sort of dark sound that I like, so, you know, so yeah, I guess that, that would be my music to taste then, and it's still pretty much now. Okay, well, that was the last question I had for you today. Uh, thank you very much for uh, coming from TFCon Toronto. Uh, I'm Deb Markley. This is Simon Furman again. Once again, we thank you. Oh, and one more thing. Do you have anything you'd like to say to your fans? Oh, yeah. Well, just thanks for supporting the 81 petition. You know, it's great, and we're now sort of go on that. So, you know, the fans have spoken. Well done. All right, wonderful. Thank you very much.